The Acrobus. An archipelago full of secrets, anomalies, and destructive storms. You won't find it on the Imperial maps. Many followed ancient legends in search of these mysterious islands. But their expeditions, one after another, disappeared without a trace. But then came technological progress, and with it steam engines. With their help, Imperial pilgrims finally managed to reach the Acrobus. On the very first night, the Victorian camp was attacked by the Acribians, the island's indigenous people. This was the beginning of a long and bloody war, the result of which was the enslavement of the rebels. The Acrobus became the Empire's colony. Scientists began exploring the conquered lands. They discovered that the sap of the local trees called Celebrium is a unique source of energy. Its heating value is hundreds of times greater than that of the coal and wood. Celebrium shipments to Victoria grew exponentially. Its power had no limits. Soon, scientists encountered yet another mystery. They found traces of an advanced civilization. They discovered scrolls described how to fuse mechanisms with living flesh with the help of Celebrium. Supposedly, this increased the resilience of the human body and made animals stronger and more docile. Immediately after that, the Emperor authorized the beginning of surgical experiments on the colonial slaves. The scrolls also mentioned the bloody cult of the Enlightened, which the people of the Acrobus had been practicing many centuries ago. The cult quickly spread among the general public. Its followers restored the temple where the Enlightened used to worship the Supreme Gods. The cult's priest promised freedom to the oppressed people and supported an armed uprising of the slaves. In order to crush the unrest, the Empire sent a large fleet under the command of General Harassim. In response, the highest enlightened summoned the ancient's power for help. He sacrificed thousands of lives, spilling rivers of blood, which opened the rift between the worlds. Dormant volcanoes awakened. Many islands went underwater. The Acrobus were lost in darkness and chaos. The Imperial troops suffered huge losses, but General Harassim managed to break through to the Cursed Temple. He annihilated the Highest Enlightened and sealed the rift between the worlds. The war was over, but the Acrebian colony sustained great damage. Celebrium shipments were stopped. Deprived of the much-needed energy source, the Empire was gripped by a terrible crisis. New expeditions were sent to the islands, but the Acribians destroyed whoever approached their lands. Thousands of people were killed, never getting the chance to moor. The Acrobus became impregnable. The Empire was crumbling, along with the hope to return to its former glory. But there is always someone who can change history. This time, things will be different. Wow. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Noob and welcome to the very first part of Steam Hammer. This is the first look and we are going to be looking at this game in depth. Um, let me just uh, try some things here. Um, my apologies, I always have to do this. Uh, okay, whoa. No, 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 no. Just leave that. Okay, wait. Let's go to actually a uh, high setting. Apply. That's it. Let's just leave it like this. We'll see in game. Um, and we can like create a world, join a world. Um, EU game server, AMS. So you can join a server. It's kind of like Conan Exiles. And uh, what I want to do is uh, join a world with some players on it uh, game server AMS let's do 13 uh, I'm just gonna add this to favorites um, just so that when I get back uh, it should be here refresh okay yeah there it is MS 13 uh, 
it's an EU server. Wait, let me just go to US. Do I want to play on the US servers? Lags are very high, but yeah, let's stay with this. Okay, and uh, let's connect to it. This is. Um, Ooh, my character create a new character cool so we can create new characters there's alignment punishment for every criminal action okay Ooh, jeez, you ugly um name of course we are noob family name uh shit. noob let's make it barian new barian like that. Okay, faction. Do we want to be uh, uh, acri uh, acribanes or do we want to be technocrates? So, acribanes. So these are the guys with the metal infused in them. Uh, these the slaves. I want to be them. I guess. Uh, they sound cool. Uh, gender. Let's be a gentleman or a lady. Let's do that one, the most scary way. Appearance, uh, appearance, uh, ooh, head, hello. Okay, so we can't change the head though. Uh, maybe we can change facial features. What is this? I don't think anything's changing though. Let's just close that. Maybe now it's changing, no. We can't change the facial features, I guess. Uh, this is still... I, d I don't know if this is an early access game, but... Ooh, okay, so I guess I can't change. Maybe if I change the faction, like Technocrate. Yeah, then you can change the appearance, but ac these guys, you can't change the facial features. Uh, hair color, white. Uh, kind of like our body is stuck in this way. Maybe... Uh, Randomized? No. Maybe we can change it later on. Attributes. Okay, so here we go. Um, strength, agility, uh, constitution, willpower, and intellect. Um, I want to do basically kind of everything. Well, can we just put this up? No. It has to be uh, equalized. Let's see. Um, let's go like that. Just just to start off at at basically a baseline for the character, uh, crafting skills, farming, blacksmithing, engineering, alchemy, uh, construction. Uh, I like doing construction, but again, I'm gonna do a baseline. Holy crap! Okay, we can take a lot of points here. <sighs> okay, 20, I think it's... Ooh, yeah, 20 is the... Uh, okay, so that is baseline point for everyone. Combat skills... Handgun mastery, no. Tesla gun mastery, no. Axe mastery, unarmed combat. Uh, piloting, ooh yes please. Let's go piloting. Um, sword mastery. Uh, handgun, let's go Tesla gun mastery. Some axe, wait, no. Let's go, let's, let's leave it like that. Let, let's leave it like that. Uh, as a swords master with a piloting and Tesla gun. So we have some uh, close range, long range and uh, piloting uh, uh, things that we can do. So this game... What? We can't even be them. So, okay. Let's just change it back to this guy. Okay, so we can't be acrobians. Ac acrob acrobians. Uh, let's then choose a face, something that's less scary. Facial features. Put a tattoo on it. 
If you like it, you should have put a tattoo on it. Um, I like this thing. Ooh, I like. Okay, hairstyle. Ugh, that is disgusting. Uh, let's go for option number two. There's not a lot of options. Facial hair. Ah ha ha. <laughs> yeah. Mustachio. Uh, do I want a mustache? Oh, that looks cool. Yeah. Let's go for that. Uh, hair color. Do I want to be a ginger? Uh, let's go for this blondish kind of body features. Ooh, look at these tattoos. Yeah. So there is a few features, Captain. Oh, I like this compass, like compass looking thing there. This my forearms is so white. I can't see anything. Okay, let's go back to the compass. There we go. Yeah, that looks cool. Uh, skin tone. Yeah, okay. Now we're going for skin tone. Let's get a tan, man. Jeez. Yeah, okay. There we go. Uh, yeah, that's... And the attributes didn't stay the same. Oh, so the attributes is reduced quite a lot, uh, I guess. No. Oh, I think it was 15. So, yeah, let's just stay with that. Uh, crafting, 20, all, yes, that's what we wanted. And that stays the same. So, let's say done. Noob Barian. Okay. So, this is our character now, Noob Barian. Uh, guild rank, title, uh, strength, agility, con uh, constitution. And all of that, so you say, let's let's choose this player, let's go into the game. So the game is a base builder, fighting, kind of like a survival as well, farming game, uh, where you can build like airships and drive them around and fly them around and attack uh, other players and uh, their, um, their cities that they've built. Um... You can also use jetpacks that I've seen uh, level up on your skill to unlock new recipes and abilities. So there is some abilities and uh, we'll look at that later on. The game is about... how much was that? Uh, $20? $25 around to purchase. And you can also purchase a soundtrack as a DLC for it. Um, we're entering the game. I'm just looking at the graphics at the moment. Um, okay, so here we are. We are. We have 105 health, 105 stamina, 99 something else. Ooh, it's nighttime and I can't see anything. Okay, uh, let's just go onto the land here. Um, this kind of reminds me of uh, Ark Survival, where you start off next to uh, whatever that is. Hello. Hello, I don't know, maybe that's team chat. What's this? Skills. Uh, one is draw from left waist slot. Ah, draw from left back slot. Draw from, okay, so flee. So this uh, this also reminds me of a game called, uh, what, what's that game? Um, Entropy or something? No, not Entropy. Uh, anyway. There is a game like this, Quick Journey Home, where you can draw from different sides of your um, body. And uh, I can't see anything now, but uh, let's go here. Uh, this is our inventory. Uh, we have here simple clothes. Can we equip it? Equip. Okay, so we have equipped it. Uh, what's this? Smoked Sea Bream. Oh, nice. Farming, level 25. Uh, what's this? Survival on Acro Field Manual. Okay. So let's use that. And... Uh, you can double click it. I don't know what that is. And there's a torch. I'm not going to light the torch now. Uh, 
Clay mold for pick, clay mold for saw. Show all. Okay. So this is what we can build, probably. Uh, slingshot. Uh, okay. So let's go. Do we have a map here? Okay, yeah. There's the map. We are here. Kind of a lot like Ark Survival. Uh, this is P. It's your characteristics. Okay, so you can lock it in. Weapons. Okay, so you can go through weapons and all, all of this stuff. So this is now we're just checking out what's going on here. Um, I don't want to run into any wild life. Okay, so we can go view down here. Okay, let's press CC. You can go into th third person view. Ooh, what's that? What was that? Uh, get a sprout. Open uh, context menu. Okay, farming. Get a sprout. Get gather oranges. Let's gather gather oranges for now. <laughs> okay, so a sprout. This is exactly like ah. What's that game called? One second. Life is futile. Ah, that did kick me now out of full screen view. Apply. No, it didn't. Okay. Yeah, life is futile. That's what the game is. Just give me a moment, guys. I'll come back now. Okay, so I'm back. Sorry, I alt-tabbed and it kicked me out of full screen view, kind of. The game didn't stop, but yeah, it reminds me of a lot of uh, Life is Feudal and Reign of Kings. Um, where you could terraform a lot. And I think in this game you can also terraform. Uh, it's not very original in the gameplay, I think, but at least there is a, a pre-story to it, and now uh, that's that's kind of good to to have a, a nice little story before. Um, and you don't see that a lot in games these days, where you have actually a goal or a point. Is like it's not just hey yo, oh, you're just there because that's the way it is. Okay, so you can get a sprout. Sprout means it's like a seed. Um, context when you then, uh, luckily I already know how this works. You can uh, gather the um, oranges. You can keep on doing that until there is nothing left to gather. I'm going to gather as much oranges as I can because I'm going to eat them. Um, um. Uh, is there any character? Okay, so speed 90. Oh, that's my, no, that's not my speed. So I'm looking for my player stat, uh, stat gap. So, ah, uh, it's exactly like life is futile. So you have a stat gap. Um, now, currently, you can see here, 15 plus 15 plus 15 plus 15 plus 15 is 75. You can only go to 150. That's your stat gap. That's why you can lock this uh, to a certain stat. That's what you want in the game uh, and then you can either increase it or tell it to decrease so but i'm gonna tell it to increase for now so every time we do something these things are gonna increase so later on we can tell it to, uh, do it to decrease and all of that stuff so you can do servers where there's no stat gap and all of that stuff but this is basic snap off branch let's go snap off branch um, so yeah, this is just basic 150 is probably all the um, All the services stat gap I'm just trying to see now what is ooh, okay, so that is L uh, See you also have a skill gap of 3005 so you can't just go on and make everything in the game you have a skill cap that you also need to do so we have here is uh, you can increase decrease as well and lock them into place um here is a fire campfire okay we'll we'll have a look at that later on oh sorry where okay uh 
I want to snap off a few branches just so that I can build like uh, I need clay torch I need uh, whatever this is slingshot fishing pole okay let's let's try for a uh, Okay, so first you need to make a mold before you can make a uh, pick. See, you need some stuff here. Uh, anyway, let's let's continue and see what we can do with this. Uh, cut down. You can't cut it down because you uh, instrument scrap metal machete to perform this action. Inspect tree. Let's see. Okay, major uh, orange tree, you estimate the, uh, the quality as 56. It has been chopped down to zero. It contains the following useful resources. Four branches, five oranges. Okay, so let's see here. Can we eat this? You cannot eat anymore. You're nearly stuffed. Huh, that's good. Okay, so tab, you bring out the cursor. That's how it works. Uh, silver fur. What the hell? What's a silver fur? Get sprout, snap off branch, cut down. So silver fur. Uh, so you can. Let's run around here. Walnut tree. Uh, this game also has a let me just go global system okay let's leave it on system for now this game also has a unique uh, weather system that if it rains your crops grow faster and all of that good stuff uh, let me just see here where are we um, do we want to go to an island and populate an, an, an island because you know it is a PvP game. That we will do later on. Um, I just want to see here if I can't equip this. Prospect for copper. Jeez, this is exactly like Life is Feudal. Or Reign of Kings. Hmm. Let's see here what we have. Anything... Oh, I'm looking for something that, wait, no. Hmm. So there is a steep learning curve to it that uh, I hope that I can uh, assist you guys with. Um, what I want to do is actually go to that mountain there, uh, up there. Can I set a marker? Yeah, because that's normally where you will find most of the iron and stuff. And uh, I want to start my base close to that because this if this is basically copy paste of uh, Life is Feudal, which I played for a little bit, not too long, but mm, I played it a little bit. And normally, geez, the map almost looks the same as well. Uh, that mountain has a lot of uh, iron and stuff that we might use later on. That's what you want to get to. So I'm just going to run over there, uh, see what I can pick up. On the way, I want to see also if there's any wildlife. Any wildlife. Ooh, walnut. What? Okay, so I'm out of breath. Yeah. Let's 
So we can go to first person view, but it's kind of Blair Witchy. Jesus, it's far. It's damn far. This map is, well, it looks small. It is huge. Look like an old farmer, dude. Okay. Are you silver away? That looks like something interesting that we might be able to use. Can we use it? Prospect for copper. No. Nope. Oh, wait. Brush. Okay, so a uh, bush. Okay, so here we might be able to get inspect tree. Let's see. Inspect tree. Uh, let's see, bush sprout four branches. No, that's not what we want to do. Um, let's just go back to the inventory. I want these things kind of like a, let's just see, shaped rock. Okay, so we need to get slingshot torch. So in order to get a torch, we need plant fiber. Okay, plant fiber. I don't know where to get plant fiber, but can be found on a special terrain. Look for a light brown or uh, what? Look for light brown on the mini map to get the clay used. Lower ground terraforming action. Lower ground. See, but I think we need a shovel to do that. Okay. So you need to also check the terrain and uh, so here, like a light brown, that's clay over there. But I can see dark brown here. Can we make this bigger? Terraform. Let's just see what we get. Um, can't run up here. Wait, that was something. But that's a rock stone. Come on. Walnut tree. Eh. Eh. I'm making it. I'll make it. There we go. I, I made it. Prospect. Oh, okay. So right click on it and then you can uh, farming track, <laughs> track aggressive animal, track peaceful animal, gather plant fiber. There we go. Hey, we've gathered some plant fiber. So you just right click on the land. And uh, yeah. Um, plow. You know, this is exactly like um, life is futile. Plow. Alchemy says for herbal ingredients. You can do that as well. Nothing? No, nothing. Uh, dig tunnel, uh, flatten, terraform. So we need to terraform down. Construction, build. Build what? What can we build? See, this is different carpentry bins, chemical house. So this is all houses that we can build later on. Uh, flatten ground. Can we flatten? Okay. 
Okay, so, yeah, that's, okay, that's interesting to see that it's exactly like Life is Feral, uh, only a little bit more in the future. It's like Life is Feral 2, but a little bit more in the future. That's exactly what it is. Um, this is the first look, at least at the game, and the story behind it, and the character creation. Uh, join me in the next part as I go more into depth of how to mine and how to do everything like that. Uh, and I will do that definitely um, Okay, so yeah, you can see here's a bush so you can see here's a lot of fiber so if I can cons uh, use farming to uh, plow or uh, gather uh, gather plant fiber I Can do so so it's giving me plant fiber. So I have enough. No, I need one more. Let's let's do uh, Let's do one more uh, farming gather plant fiber there we go, plant fiber. Now I have enough to make a torch. Let's do. Uh, oh shit! I need ten. <laughs> okay, no. Okay, so uh, yeah, I need ten for that. Uh, but I need to get molds. Molds uh, is in order to get. Uh, uh, where can I get copper scraps? Can be found in the scrap fields terrain. Scrap fields terrain. So that's the thing. Is like I'm waiting for it to get sun out, so at least I can freaking get somewhere um, but I'm gonna look here and go zoom out uh, I don't know where the scrap fields terrain is uh, I don't know if this these are the scrap fields terrain this dark patches here I bet that is maybe ah, it's just in front of me uh, and uh, yeah join me in the next part as I continue and uh, yeah look at this game I think it's gonna be an awesome game uh, it's not that big guys it's only 1.7 uh, gigabytes, but yeah, let's see how it goes. See you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye guys We'll join a world um, EU game server AMS so you can join a server it's kind of like Conan exiles and uh, what I want to do is uh, join a world with some players on it uh, game server AMS let's do 13 uh, I'm just gonna add this to favorites um, just so that when I get back uh, it should be here refresh okay yeah there it is MS13, uh, it's an EU server, wait, let me just go to US, do I want to play on the US servers, lags are very high, but yeah, let's stay with this, okay, and uh, let's connect to it, this is, um, ooh, my character, create a new character, cool, so we can create new characters, there's alignment punishment for every criminal action, Okay, ooh, jeez, you ugly. Um, name, of course, we are noob. Family name. Uh, shit. Noob. Let's make it Barian. Noobarian. Like that. Okay, faction. Do we want to be, uh, uh, Acri uh, Acribanes? Or do we want to be technocrates? So, Acrobates. So these are the guys with the metal infused in them. Uh, these the slaves. I want to be them, I guess. Uh, they sound cool. Uh, gender. Let's be a gentleman or a lady. Let's do that one. The most scary way. Appearance, uh, appearance, uh, ooh, head, hello. Okay, so we can't change the head though. Uh, maybe we can change facial features. What is this? Ooh, yes, please. Let's go piloting, um, sword mastery, uh, handgun. Let's go Tesla gun mastery. Some axe. Wait, no. Let's go. Let's let's leave it like that. Let, let's leave it like that. 
uh, as a swords master with a piloting and Tesla gun. So we have some uh, close range, long range and uh, piloting uh, uh, things that we can do. So this game... What? We can't even be them. So, okay. Let's just change it back to this guy. Okay, so we can't be Acrobians. Acrob Acrobians. Uh, let's then choose a face, something that's less scary. Facial features. Put a tattoo on it. If you like it, you should have put a tattoo on it. Um, I like this thing. Ooh. I like. Okay, hairstyle. Ugh, that is disgusting. Uh, let's go for option number two. There's not a lot of options. Facial hair. Ah ha ha. <laughs> yeah. Mustachio. Uh, do I want a mustache? Oh, that looks cool. Yeah, let's go for that. Uh, hair color. Do I want to be a ginger? Uh, let's go for this blondish kind of body features. Ooh, look at these tattoos. Yeah. So there is a few features, Captain. Oh, I like this compass, like compass-looking thing there. This my forearms is so white. I can't see anything. Okay, let's go back to... The Acrobus. An archipelago full of secrets, anomalies, and destructive storms. You won't find it on the Imperial maps. Many followed ancient legends in search of these mysterious islands. But their expeditions, one after another, disappeared without a trace. But then came technological progress, and with it steam engines. With their help, Imperial pilgrims finally managed to reach the Acrobus. On the very first night, the Victorian camp was attacked by the Acrebians, the island's indigenous people. This was the beginning of a long and bloody war, the result of which was the enslavement of the rebels. The Acrobus became the Empire's colony. Scientists began exploring the conquered lands. They discovered that the sap of the local trees called Celebrium is a unique source of energy. Its heating value is hundreds of times greater than that of the coal and wood. Celebrium shipments to Victoria grew exponentially. Its power had no limits. Soon, scientists encountered yet another mystery. They found traces of an advanced civilization. They discovered scrolls described how to fuse mechanisms with living flesh with the help of Celebrium. Supposedly, this increased the resilience of the human body and made animals stronger and more docile. Immediately after that, the Emperor authorized the beginning of surgical experiments on the colonial slaves. The scrolls also mentioned the bloody cult of the Enlightened, which the people of the Acrobus had been practicing many centuries ago. The cult quickly spread among the general public. Its followers restored the temple where the Enlightened used to worship the Supreme Gods. The cult's priest promised freedom. I don't think anything's changing though. Let's just close that. Maybe not changing. No. We can't change the facial features, I guess. Uh, this is still... I, d I don't know if this is an early access game, but... Ooh. Okay, so I guess I can't change. Maybe if I change the faction, like Technocrate. Yeah, then you can change the appearance, but I c these guys, you can't change the facial features. Uh, hair color, white. Uh, kind of like... Our body is stuck in this way. Maybe... Uh, randomized? No. Maybe we can change it later on. 
attributes okay so here we go um strength agility uh, constitution willpower and intellect um i want to do basically kind of everything or can we just put this up no it has to be uh equalized let's see um let's go like that just just to start off at at basically a baseline for the character uh, crafting skills farming blacksmithing engineering alchemy uh, construction uh, I like doing construction but again I'm gonna do a baseline holy crap okay we can take a lot of points here Okay, 20, I think it's, ooh, yeah, 20 is the, uh, okay, so that is baseline point for everyone. Combat skills, handgun mastery, no. Tesla gun mastery, no. Axe mastery, unarmed combat, uh, piloting. To the oppressed people and supported an armed uprising of the slaves. In order to crush the unrest, the Empire sent a large fleet under the command of General Harassim. In response, the highest enlightened summoned the ancient's power for help. He sacrificed thousands of lives, spilling rivers of blood, which opened the rift between the worlds. Dormant volcanoes awakened. Many islands went underwater. The Acrobus were lost in darkness and chaos. The Imperial troops suffered huge losses, but General Harassim managed to break through to the Cursed Temple. He annihilated the Highest Enlightened and sealed the rift between the worlds. The war was over, but the Acrebian colony sustained great damage. Solibrium shipments were stopped. Deprived of the much-needed energy source, the Empire was gripped by a terrible crisis. New expeditions were sent to the islands, but the Acrebians destroyed whoever approached their lands. Thousands of people were killed, never getting the chance to more. The Acrobus became impregnable. The Empire was crumbling, along with the hope to return to its former glory. But there is always someone who can change history. This time, things will be different. Wow. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Noob and welcome to the very first part of Steam Hammer. This is the first look and we are going to be looking at this game in depth. Um, let me just uh, try some things here. Um, my apologies, I always have to do this. Uh, okay, whoa. No, 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 just leave that. Okay, wait, let's go to actually a uh, high setting, apply. That's it. Let's just leave it like this. We'll see in game um, and we can like create a world.